So Myops uh, kindly sent over to me the uh, Myops Splash and they've asked me to make a video on how to use it. So let me show you how to use the Myops Splash. Uh, I'll show you uh, my setup and how I'm using it and we'll go through some of the settings um, so you can do this for yourself. So this is the setup I've got. I've got the Premier Deer Gear TR424L tripod with this uh, little boom arm, can, uh, ma magic arm, sorry, uh, connected to my iPad. Um, and this is what I'm using to control the these uh, Smart Splash. So we're using the MyOps mobile um, app uh, to control it all. We've got all our settings down here, and then we've got our simple start button down there to fire the dropper. So if we go up here, we've got the MyOps Splash itself. Um, the, so we've got the camera connected up by the remote port, remote cable, um, uh, shutter release cord, sorry. Um, and then this one here is our power. Um, so MyOps don't supply a power source. Um, they do supply the power cable, but you can use uh, your phone charger or anything like that to power it. Um, yeah. And inside it, you might see it's a bit thick. We put a bit of milk in there just to add a bit of cloud to it so it's not clear. We've just got, um, and it's just nice and white when it hits the water. And you can see a lot more as well. Um, yeah, so if we come around here, We've got the uh, the Mark Splash connected to this boom arm. These boom arms are relatively cheap on eBay. Um, this one is just very light duty and it's just perfect for this here. Uh, we've got our light stand. These are kind of heavy duty, um, but it works well here. Um, over here we've got our scrim. We've got the two clamps here holding it in place. This is just to give us a little bit of soft light. Um, because I don't like the hard light, I like a soft light. And um, as someone said before on Instagram, I should have used two flashes because there's another blog post on this and I only use one flash. But on, with this, I'm able to use two flashes and uh, have a faster shut, uh, have a lot of power on the flashes. So these are set on 132 second power. Um, so we've got a much shorter flash duration. So remember here for this. Um, to take these photos, what is actually cap, what is our exposure and what is actually freezing the motion is our flashes. So these are both set up as master. They're set about 10 to 15 mil, uh, 10 to 15 centimeters from the background, uh, from the scrim, um, and spaced about 20 centimeters apart. This is giving us a nice even light source over the background. If we separated them a bit too, if we separated them too much, we'd end up with a little a bit of a dark pocket in the middle here, and which is what we don't want. Uh, so let's come back around here. And I think I've actually said everything. I've had to do a couple of takes of this. So I've forgotten what I've said. Um, oh yeah, we'll go into camera settings. So camera settings wise, we've gone with uh, F18, 100 ISO, because remember, when we were focusing really close to the camera, our depth of field is really shallow. So we need an aperture of like F18, F20, um, and don't worry about um, lens diffraction, you know, aperture diffraction. Um, flashes seem to uh, give you a much sharper result uh, compared to uh, daylight or con continuous lighting. Uh, by the way, this wouldn't work with continuous lighting, you want to use flash. So, um, yeah, we'll take a test shot. So, we'll just press on here, press start. Sometimes it doesn't take a photo instantly. Uh, my camera settings have changed, so we'll go into just another one. No, hang on. Okay. So, we've done another one. So, my delay is a little bit different. Um, hopefully you can sort of see that. So what we want to do with this is, let me flip this around. So what we want to do is, um, we want want the first drop to come down and so come down into the water, go down and and come back up, and then we want a second drop to come down. And as that first drop is coming back up, the second drop hits and it sprays out. So it causes like an umbrella sort of effect. And I really quite like that myself. Um, with this MyOps Splash, you can have up to four different droplets. But today we're just going to do the two because I don't know how to do the four or three, three or four droplets yet. But in the future, I'll let you know how to do it. So let's get in and program the MyOps Splash. All right, so what we want to do, we've got our drop now. Cancel. 
So here we've got our drop size. We, we've set that to 40, pull down on that to save, go over to here, second drop size. Now I know I want this to be 30, so we'll program 30 in here. Drop that down to save it. it to go over to change the delay, um, go over and just put 80 in. Um, these are my settings, this is what I'm using, and it's working fine. Now, what I'd recommend to do is um, do some test shots, um, use your phone in slow motion. Now, I can't currently use my phone because it's not charged, I forgot to charge it for this. But do some slow motion, watch what's happening with the actual, with this. Don't worry about taking any photos just yet. And watch what's going on, dial in that, um, what, what's happening and what you want. And then when it comes to using your camera, get the delay, uh, the trigger delay, perfect and then you'll get your result that you want. It's just it's easier, just breaking it down to steps and you'll get the results that you want. So let's uh, get this camera back onto normal shooting and we'll connect it on. And that is what we got. Let me just... So you saw just how easy that was to get that. Um, oh yeah, and focusing wise, I forgot to f tell you about focus. Um, what we want to do oh, is um, we want to put something in the water. So just where you're going to uh, take the photo, um, where this drops, do a test drop into the water, put something in there. I used uh, this laser pointer, put it in the water, and then manually focus, and then leave your focus to manual. Um, then come back, and um, yeah, you'll have your focus. So you can also use Aperture Preview, but we'll see what we've got here. Now that's nice and clear. The droplets on the foreground are a bit blurry, but overall that's really nice. And you can see inside the water just there. And how, and we love those reflections, don't we? Uh, what I might do with my camera is just tilt it down a little bit, so I've got that. Uh, so I can see a little bit more of those reflections. But yeah, that's it. All right, so that is it. Um, it's nice and easy to do, as you can see. It doesn't take too much of faffing around, and once you've got it set up, you can go f for ages and ages. Um, that water lasts ages. Oh, by the way, with the top of the water, do about 30 to 40 mil below the top, and then as it, when it comes to putting the lid on, just pop it on, just let it gradually settle down. Otherwise, you'll have water squirting at the top, as I used to find out. Um, but yeah, nice and easy. Um, I'll put the uh, link down below, you can go check it out, um, there is a discount code currently on at the moment, so I'll let you know what that is, and yeah, that's it, alright, hope you all have a good day, bye.